Quick stick, one, two, three. 450 participants and two rounds of shots later, the University of Maryland's Moderna clinical trial team celebrating big news with the FDA's approval. It's a bit surreal and it's hard to believe that we are actually part of the effort that will have such a large impact. With the U.S. now rolling out two COVID vaccines to first responders, clinical trial investigators like Dr. Matthew Lawrence focus on the next step, vaccinating the 225 people who got the placebo in their study. He hopes Moderna decides to unblind or tell participants who didn't get the vaccine and bring them in quickly. As was mentioned by the Moderna team to the FDA on Thursday, we've already lost several. How are we going to generate data over two years if our participants are dropping out? So we really need to do our best to retain these participants to do that. We need to bring them in quickly and give them vaccine, otherwise we'll continue to lose them. Dr. Lawrence says hosting a vaccine trial locally could pay dividends. Participants who have been vaccinated, they can actually help us to spread the word about vaccination and its importance. We're more likely to listen to people who are within our own circles rather than so-called experts. So I think they could help increase potential for others to become willing to be vaccinated thus protecting more of our neighbors from COVID, getting more people back to work sooner, and reviving life as we remember it. Dr. Lawrence says we should hear from Moderna within the next few days on how they plan to vaccinate those total 15,000 trial participants who got the placebo shot. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.